W0TWG. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, share and subscribe if you like. Okay, quickly, we're looking today at linear loading. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a video where I uh, shortened a uh, quarter wave vertical for 40 meters from 33 to 23 feet using 300 ohm ribbon line, shorted at the top, coming back down. I thought, let's try and do that with a dipole and uh, try to see whether we can get some sort of uniformity in terms of how much we should shorten the, uh, you know, the, the wires by. So I've used, on, in this occasion, 450 ohm ladder line and uh, I wanted to see whether we could reduce the size of, say, a 10 metre dipole down and how much we could reduce it by in order for it to work and give, give us a tune. Uh, my idea, based on some reading, is that uh, I think we're looking at around reducing it by somewhere down by from about 100 obviously to 70 percent so a 30 percent reduction on the size of the dipole let's see if we can do that but first of all a bit of theory for you right some high-tech wizardry here okay what you can see is a uh, picture of a uh, a dipole on there sorry sorry about the glare you've got the the fiberglass pole and the coax coming down but also you've got the two legs of it now if you notice the legs are designed a little bit <laughs> very bad drawing a little bit to look like 450 ohm ladder line. Now, usually, as it says at the top, to work out the uh, the length of a dipole, you divide the uh, frequency you want it to be centered on uh, into 468, and that gives you a figure for a length. And usually, as it says towards the bottom there, where are we? Here we go. A uh, 10 meter dipole is usually about 16 feet or so in length, maybe a bit more. What I wanted to do was to see whether we could reduce the size of that uh, by around 30% so that the dipole uh, using linear loading uh, using the 450 ohm ladder line for both legs could we reduce the length of that by 30% so that effectively the uh, length of the dipole would be around 11 foot 2 inches so the total length 11 foot 2 inches and we do that by having two 5 foot 7 inch legs okay so let's see if that works let's see if it uh, gives us any sort of tune on 10 meters uh, the dipole itself was done as a vertical dipole but hey same sort of thing and i tried to bring the, the coax off as good as i could in terms of it being a 90 degree angle from the from the uh, uh from the dipole it was fairly decent anyway have a look see what you think and then we'll discuss what the results and implications could be in terms of getting a dipole into a smaller than usual space let's see what happened Okay, so here's the, uh, the two uh, dipole legs, each about five foot seven inch long, with the ends, as we see in a minute, the ends are shorted, so the uh, the uh, both wires become linear loaded. There's the shorted end, literally just twisting the ends together for now, just to test it out. So there you go. And then we move on to the feed point, one to one ballon with the coax, and there she is there. Look, uh, both dipole legs, as you can see from this video, uh, running vertically and the feed point not quite 90 degrees uh, the coax probably something like about 60 degrees but that's as best as I can manage going into the little shed shack there where the uh, analyzer was and here is the analyzer now apologies for the angle of this but as you can see the way the, uh, the SWR is looking we've got a fairly healthy um, sort of uh, spread it's about 800 kilohertz I think uh, where well, it's about uh, 1.5 to 1 or less. And as we'll see in a minute, uh, in terms of a 2 to 1 bandwidth, we're looking at uh, around a megahertz or, megahertz or so. It's not too bad at all. Um, certainly, I would have thought I need to trim this a little bit to get it fully resonant on 10 meters, but with a central frequency of about 28.180 or 150, I think, at 1 to 1.1, that's WR. Uh, even at the top uh, end of the uh, SSB portion, about 28,500, 550, we've still got a decent SWR of certainly less than 2 to 1. So, fairly, fairly good bandwidth. So, what can we conclude from this? Well, linear loading does help to reduce the length of an antenna and give you a tune by about 30%. So, a 16-foot dipole is resonant on 28.150 as an 11-foot 2-inch dipole. And in fact, you could probably shave another couple of inches off that to about 11 feet at a thought to get her roughly around the 28.400 mark. So there you go. Now, there's two things I want to do. First of all, I want to try a 40 meter dipole at home to fit it into a short space. I reckon about 45, 46 feet would be enough as a dipole length, which is about the same length as my doublet, actually. So worth a go. Let's see if I can feed it with coax and get 40 meters in. Second thing I want to do, long term, 
is to try and get 80 meters working better. I can't really tune 80 at the moment with a 44 foot dipole. However, if I can fit in a uh, probably slightly longer uh, doublet using ladder line with, of course, the linear loading, maybe I can get it to resonate at around five, five and a half megahertz, which gives me a fighting chance of getting a bit better on 80. I've got a really small garden. It's about uh, 30 feet by 25. So, you know, a full 88, uh, 80 foot, um, sorry, a full dipole on 80 meters or an N-fed Y on 80 meters, probably ain't gonna work. N-feds are quite, quite noisy here anyway at home. And uh, even an inverted L, which I have tried for 80 meters, um, very noisy. So uh, I'm going to try a centre-fed um, sort of non-resonant uh, doublet using ladder line and see if that works. The final thing I'm going to try very quickly just to tell you is to add a third wire between the two conductors and the 450 ohm ladder line to make sure maybe we can add a bit more linear loading. Anyway, as I say, the trade-offs, reduced bandwidth, probably reduced efficiency. The gain, you can fit more into the space and get it resonant. So uh, we'll see what happens. There'll be more to come. I think the 40 meter dipole might be the next thing to try. Uh, and uh, if we can get that working all the better, I may even try feeding it with a ladder line to see whether it works well as a doublet as well. Anyway, that's enough from me. 73, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to share and subscribe. And uh, nice to have you on board. And enjoy your antenna experiments as well. <laughs> 73 from Turi Zero, TWG. Bye-bye.